Good evening, everybody. Madam Clerk. This meeting is being held in accordance with the Open Public Meeting Act, NJSA 10 colon 4 6 at sec, notice of which was sent to the record in the Star Ledger and was posted on the Municipal Bulletin Board. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Here. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Here. Councilmember Battaglia. Here. Councilmember Carroll. Here. Mayor LaBrosse. Here. Would everybody please rise for the flag salute? <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. There are no proclamations or presentations this evening. I need a motion for the approval of the minutes of the July, or July 19th, 2021 Executive Cal and Regular Minutes. Deputy Mayor. Deputy Mayor Canestrino was absent. Yes. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Abstain. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBros. Aye. And with that, we'll go right to the city manager's report. Okay, good evening, everyone. A couple of items from the city here. Our next drive-in movie will be on August 19th. The movie is Casablanca. Please visit hackpack.org to reserve your tickets. Our summer concert series continues tomorrow night on the green. Filet of Soul will be performing at 7.30 p.m. The city has officially launched our Facebook page and Instagram page. Please search the city of Hackensack and follow both for the most up-to-date information and advisories. COVID-19 update. The city's health department continues to monitor our daily cases we are committed to keeping our community safe. All buildings will, be, will continue to mandate mask wearing for all visitors. Unvaccinated employees will be required to wear masks and vaccinated employees are highly encouraged to wear masks. Our future council meetings along with board meetings will be via Zoom. Links will be posted to our website for residents to participate. Let me just back up, excuse me, as of September 1st, our future council meetings along with board meetings will be via Zoom, not until September 1st. So if there are any board meetings between now and September 1st, they will most likely be in person as scheduled. Actually, I'm, I interject here. Sure. Um, there is, there are two meetings. One is the, the Condo Call Board and Economic? Environmental. Environmental. Right. They're both gonna be held by Zoom. They are, okay. They've already and agreed. the zoning board. Good. Um, nice. And the zoning board for the first? When was the zoning? All right. Okay. They, yeah. they I didn't agreed. have confirmation before we. Well, I this. we just got it, but they were they agreed to Zoom, so nobody. So is it safe agreed. to say all board meetings will be Zoom? Yeah. Okay. Even the ones at the end of this month. Very good. And I'm assuming that's subject to change. This is all I think as a result of the Delta variant and and some concerns, and that obviously we would consider that as events warrant. Yeah. Right. Well, as of whatever we're doing, then we notify the other boards. Yeah, I just want to make that clear to the public that it's not a permanent Zoom. No. It's, it's given the current public health situation. Obviously, we're all here masked again, and that uh, you know we'll be considering each time, you know, whether to to, to go back to the in-person meetings. Correct. Thank you. Uh, the city has been approved to move forward with our rolling tax reassessment for tax years 2022 through 2025. Uh, last council meeting, I had noted uh, several comments and complaints that I'd like to update you on. Uh, we had a concern about Fashini Park. Uh, there was uh, witnessed some drinking of alcoholic beverages on the fields. Uh, we gave that to our police. They've been monitoring it, and Dean's been monitoring it, and we will continue to monitor it. No issues were reported at this time, though. The proposed two-hour timed parking that was going to be added to Prospect and Beach Avenue areas has been put on hold. We're looking into what would work best for the existing residents. We had some many people from 100 Prospect show up at the last meeting uh, requesting some uh, additional parking. So the request to install additional parking spaces will be granted in the coming weeks. Once the spaces are measured out, the ordinance will be amended and proper signage will be added. That's a few spaces along Prospect just uh, in front of their building. Police department has advised has been advised of all the speeding and loud vehicle complaints that were brought to our attention last meeting, and they will monitor these areas. 
as I said earlier, flooded, flooded areas continue to be addressed and monitored by our project managers and suburban engineering consultants. The city's long-term goal is to resolve the flooding in these areas. It will take time, but we are committed to working with the residents of Hackensack. All of our CAL meetings moving forward will include sewer and stormwater updates, and anyone that has concerns is, is welcome to bring them forth at that time. Any additional comments or complaints that are not mentioned tonight, we are continuing to monitor and will be looked into for updates moving down to the uh, following meetings. Lastly, I would now like to introduce our new city manager, Vincent Caruso. He will officially begin his employment with the city on September 1st. I'd like to invite him up to say a few words. Thank you, Mayor, uh, Deputy Mayor, Council. Um, tough talking with a mask, but uh, <laughs> I'd like to thank everybody for this opportunity. Uh, the challenges, I'm ready to hit the ground growing, uh, running. Um, and, she, and thank Chief Freeman for uh, filling in during this time. Um, I appreciate the trust that you guys have put in me and for the city. And I'm going to continue to move Hackensack forward especially on the foundation that you guys have already put together, um, along with Mr. Ehrenberg, rest in peace. And I look forward to uh, a great working relationship with the, the mayor, council, and all the residents of Hackensack. Thank you. You're right. Thank, Thank you, you, Vincent. You want to say anything? Um, the line? For now? Yeah. Um, just welcome. Um, we, you know, appreciate you being here, um, and thanks to Chief Freeman for filling in. He's done a wonderful job. Um, you have some big shoes to fill with, with Ted. Um, he he was, you know, a great guy and sorely missed. But we know that you'll be a perfect fit here, and we look forward to working with you too. Again, welcome. Um, I'm sure you're going to come to uh, love Hackensack as much as we do. Um, it's a truly wonderful city. And uh, we you have excellent credentials. You know, we did a very, for the public, we did a very thorough search and screening. And uh, I, I think Mr. Caruso is going to be a great, was a great find and is going to be a perfect fit for a city of Hackensack. Again, there's, there's no replacing Ted, you know. And, you know, you, you, you've heard all that you have to step up because he was a wonderful, wonderful city manager to us. And also, again, you know, thanks to Chief Freeman and thanks to Jackie, too, who really went above and beyond to get us through this difficult mm -hmm. time. And you have a great support staff, Mr. Crusoe, wonderful department heads, and I know we're going to see the city moving in the right direction going forward. Welcome. First of all, thank you, Chief Freeman, for all the work you did for us, and Jackie and the rest of the group. And welcome, Mr. Caruso, and we are going to work together to try to bring the city forward. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Chief Freeman, for all your help during this time, and, um, and your staff. They, they have been tremendous. Again, i only been on the council um, just a month, and the department has been a tremendous asset to me. And uh, Mr. Caruso, welcome aboard. Best of luck. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to call you Mr. Caruso. I'm going to call you Vincent, if you don't mind. That's fine. But uh, first, I want to thank Chief. Great job. Uh, thanks for stepping in uh, at a time when the city would really, uh, you know, took a gut punch and uh, we needed some help and you stepped in and took care of it. We appreciate it. And Jackie Hashmat, great job during this tough time. Uh, Vincent, looking forward to working with you. you got a great resume. Everybody speaks highly of you. Even, even tonight, people were grabbing me saying, oh, you've got a great guy there. So uh, looking forward to working with you. We'll have a great rapport. Hackensack is a great city, just like Lodi is a great town. And uh, what's good about this, a lot of people may not realize this, but Hackensack and Lodi have the same form of government. It's only, I think, six or seven municipalities in the state of New Jersey that have our form of government, and two of them are right next to each other. So, uh, Mr. Caruso, Vincent will have good knowledge of how our government works, so we're looking forward. He'll be able to hit the ground running and uh, looking forward to uh, seeing you behind that desk in a few weeks. So thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Mayor? Yes. I'm sorry. Before you move on, yes, I just had a couple things to say. Sure, go ahead. Being that this is my last meeting, um, <laughs> <laughs> this is my last meeting. I'll repeat. 
I'd, I'd like to thank all of our department heads, their assistance and support staff for assisting me in these past months. I would also like to thank the residents of this great city for their valuable input and for the suggestions that we receive on a daily basis from them. I cannot thank the city's contracted professional services providers enough for having patience and understanding while they brought me up to speed on all of their ongoing projects and responsibilities, mostly suburban, which I see there. We spent a lot of time. I would be remiss if I did not personally thank the executive assistant to the city manager, Jackie, for her tremendous support and assistance to me, along with her 24-7 commitment to every aspect of this city. I also would like to congratulate Vincent Caruso on his appointment as our next city manager, and I look forward to working with him in the coming months. Lastly, I would like to thank the mayor and council for entrusting me with the responsibilities of the city manager's position. It was a pleasure to serve in this interim capacity these past months. Thank you. Thank you. That's, Maybe I should that ends the manager's report. Maybe we should go golfing now since you haven't been able to be out so much. Maybe <laughs> you are correct. They beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tom. All right, let's move forward. <clears throat> you ready? Yes. Resolution 314 21. This is a resolution for final adoption of ordinance number 31 2021, an ordinance to amend chapter 5 of the Code of the City of Hackensack Chief Financial Officer, section 5 6. Methods of payment of amounts due by the city. This ordinance has been advertised pursuant to law and now calls for a public hearing. Okay, thank you. I need a motion to open to the public, please. Call. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor Labros. Aye. Anybody from the public who'd like to speak to this ordinance and this ordinance only, please come forward. Seeing no members from the audience, motion to close to the public. Offer. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor Labrosse. Aye. Need a motion to adopt the ordinance, please? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor Labrosse. Aye. Be resolved by the City Council of the City of Hackensack, County of Bergen, and State of New Jersey that Ordinance Number 31-2021 has passed the second and final reading and is hereby adopted. Thank you. Res <clears throat> resolution 315-21. This is a resolution for the final adoption of Ordinance Number 32-2021, an ordinance to amend Chapter 117 of the Code of the City of Hackensack, parks to prohibit dogs from using the splash pads at Carver Park or Second Ward Park, a.k.a. Powell Fly Park. This ordinance has been advertised pursuant to law and now calls for a public hearing. Need a motion to open to the public? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor Lubros. Aye. Anyone from the public who'd like to speak to this ordinance and this ordinance only, please come forward. Seeing no one from the public, motion to close to the public. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor Labrosse. Aye. Motion to adopt the ordinance, please. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor Labrosse. Aye. Be resolved by the City Council of the City of Hackensack, <coughs> County of Bergen, and State of New Jersey that Ordinance Number 32-2021 has passed the second and final reading and is hereby adopted. Thank you. Resolution 316-21. This is a resolution for final adoption of Ordinance Number 34-2021, an ordinance authorizing First Amendment to easement agreement between r &H Hackensack Urban Renewal, the Bergen County Utilities Authority, and the City of Hackensack. This ordinance has been advertised pursuant to law and now calls for a public hearing. Okay. Need a motion to open to the public, please. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Anyone from the public who'd like to speak to this ordinance and this ordinance only, please come forward. Seeing no one from the public, motion to close to the public. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor Labrosse. Aye. Motion to adopt the ordinance, please. Offer. Second. 
Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Hackensack County of Bergen and State of New Jersey that Ordinance Number 34-2021 has passed the second and final reading and is hereby adopted. Okay. Resolution 317-21. This is a resolution for final adoption of Ordinance Number 35-2021. An ordinance authorizing financial agreement for market rate rental apartment project to be constructed upon block 82.1, lots 25.01, 27, 28, 30.01, 30.02, and 30.03 by Meridia Hackensack 151 Urban Renewal LLC, an urban renewal entity pursuant to the long-term tax exemption law, NJSA 40A colon 20-1 at SEC. This ordinance has been advertised pursuant to law and now calls for a public hearing. Need a motion to open to the public, please? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Anyone from the public who'd like to speak to this ordinance and this ordinance only, please come forward, give your name to the clerk. Seeing no members from the public, motion to close the public. Offer. Third. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Motion to adopt the ordinance. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Hackensack County of Bergen and State of New Jersey that ordinance number 35-2021 has passed the second and final reading and is hereby adopted. Thank you. Resolution 318-21. This is a resolution for final adoption of ordinance number 36-2021, an ordinance authorizing entry of real estate sale agreement with designated redeveloper Meridia Hackensack 151 Urban Renewal LLC for the sale of block 82.01, lots 25.01, 30.01, 30.02, and 30.03, which is the recycling center site, pursuant to the local redevelopment and housing law NJSA 40A colon 12-1 at SEC, within the Green Street redevelopment area. This ordinance has been advertised pursuant to law and now calls for a public hearing. Need a motion to open to the public? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Anyone from the public who'd like to speak to this ordinance and this ordinance only, please come forward. Seeing no one from the public, motion to close to the public. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Motion to adopt the ordinance, please. Offer. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Council, <clears throat> excuse me. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Hackensack County in Bergen and State of New Jersey that Ordinance Number 36-2021 has passed the second and final reading and is hereby adopted. Okay, <clears throat> Resolution 319-21. This is a resolution for final adoption of Ordinance Number 37-2021, an ordinance to amend Chapter 67 of the Code of the City of Hackensack, Body Piercing, Ear Piercing, and Permanent Cosmetics to be renamed Body Piercing, Ear, Pierc Ear Piercing, permanent cosmetics and tattooing to regulate tattoo facilities within the city. This ordinance has been advertised pursuant to law and now calls for public hearing. Need a motion to open to the public, please? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Anyone from the public would like to speak to this ordinance and this ordinance only, please come forward. Seeing no members from the public, Motion to close to the public. Offer. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Motion to adopt the ordinance, please. Offer. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Be resolved by the City Council of the City of Hackensack County of Bergen and State of New Jersey that Ordinance Number 37-2021 has passed the second and final reading and is hereby adopted.
Thank you. Resolution 320-21. This is a resolution for final adoption of Ordinance Number 38-2021, Capital Ordinance of the City of Hackensack and the County of Bergen, New Jersey, authorizing an ordinance for certain capital improvements and acquisitions and appropriating $1,760,000 and providing that such sum so appropriated shall be raised from the fund balance and capital improvement fund of the general capital fund of the city of Hackensack. This ordinance has been advertised pursuant to law and now calls for public hearing. Need a motion to open to the public, please? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Councilmember Carroll? Aye. Mayor LeBras? Aye. Out here. Motion to open to the public. I totally lost where I am. That was the motion to open. You we just did need that. See if there's anybody out there that wants to talk. <laughs> <laughs> anybody from the public like to speak? Seeing no one from the public, motion to close. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Councilmember Carroll? Aye. Mayor LaBros? Aye. Motion to adopt the ordinance, please. Offer. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Councilmember Carroll? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Be resolved by the City Council of the City of Hackensack County of Bergen and State of New Jersey that Ordinance Number 38-2021 has passed the second and final reading and is hereby adopted. Thank you. Resolution 321-21. This is a resolution for final adoption of ordinance number 39-2021, an ordinance authorizing a special emergency appropriation pursuant to NJSA 40A colon 4-53B for a citywide tax reassessment. This ordinance has been advertised pursuant to law and now calls for a public hearing. Need a motion to open to the public, please? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Councilmember Carroll? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Anyone from the public would like to speak to this ordinance and this ordinance only, please come forward. Seeing no one from the public, motion to close to the public. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Councilmember Carroll? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Motion to adopt the ordinance? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Councilmember Carroll? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Hackensack County of Bergen and State of New Jersey that Ordinance Number 39 2021 has passed the second and final reading and is hereby adopted. Thank you. Resolution 322 21. This is a resolution for final adoption of Ordinance Number 40 2021. An ordinance to amend Chapter 170 of the Code of the City of Hackensack Vehicles and Traffic to add a new handicapped parking space in Section 49.2, Parking for the Handicapped. This ordinance has been advertised pursuant to law and now calls for a public hearing. Need a motion to open to the public. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Councilmember Carroll? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Anyone from the public would like to speak to this ordinance and this ordinance only? Please come forward. Seeing no members from the public, motion to close to the public. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Councilmember Carroll? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Motion to adopt the ordinance, please. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Councilmember Carroll? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Hackensack County of Bergen and State of New Jersey that Ordinance Number 40-2021 has passed the second and final reading and is hereby adopted. Thank you. Resolution 323-21. This is a resolution for final adoption of Ordinance Number 41-2021, bond ordinance providing for various 2021 capital improvements by and in the City of Hackensack and the County of Bergen, State of New Jersey appropriating $3,600,000 therefore and authorizing the issuance of 3428200000 bonds or notes of the city to finance parts of the cost thereof. This ordinance has been advertised pursuant to law and now calls for public hearing. Need a motion to open to the public, please. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Castrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Yeah. Aye. 
Which one do you want? Council Member Carroll? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Motion to adopt? No. Nope. Motion to... Okay. Anybody who wants to speak? speak. <laughs> Anybody from the public would like to speak to this ordinance and this ordinance only? Please come forward, give your name to the clerk. Turn your loop there. Seeing nobody from the or, uh, audience, motion to close. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Motion to adopt the ordinance. Offer. We need a second. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. We are resolved by the City Council of the City of Hackensack, County of Bergen, and State of New Jersey that Ordinance Number 41-2021 has passed its second and final reading and is hereby adopted. Thank you. Resolution 324-21. This is a final adoption of Ordinance Number 42-2021, an ordinance to amend Part 2 general legislation of the Code of the City of Hackensack to establish the new chapter 69 cannabis businesses this ordinance has been advertised pursuant to law and now calls for a public hearing need a motion to open to the public please offer second roll call council member von rudenberg aye deputy mayor canestrino aye. council member battaglia aye council member carroll aye mayor labros aye anyone from the public would like to speak to this ordinance and this ordinance only please come forward Seeing no members of the audience, motion to close to the public. Offer. Second. Roll call. Council Member Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Council Member Battaglia. Aye. Council Member Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Motion to adopt the ordinance. Offer. Second. Second. Roll call. Council Member Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Council Member Battaglia. Aye. Council Member Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. We are resolved by the City Council of the City of Hackensack County of Bergen and State of New Jersey that Ordinance Number 42-2021 has passed the second and final reading and is hereby adopted. Thank you. Resolution 325-21. This is a resolution for the introduction of Ordinance Number 43-2021, an ordinance to amend Chapter 170 of the Code of the City of Hackensack Vehicles and Traffic to update certain provisions relating to prohibited turns at intersection in Chapter 170-64, Schedule 15, Prohibited Turns at Intersections. Need a motion, please? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Councilmember Carroll? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Mayor? Aye. Be it resolved that the above ordinance being Ordinance 43-2021 as introduced is now passed on first reading. And that said ordinance shall be considered for final passage at a meeting to be held on September 14th, 2021 at 7 o'clock p.m. or as soon thereafter as the matter can be reached at the regular meeting place of the City Council. And at such time and place all persons interested be given an opportunity to be heard concerning said ordinance. And that the City Clerk be and she is hereby authorized and directed to publish said ordinance according to law with a notice of its introduction and passage on first reading and of the time and place when and where said ordinance will be further considered for final passage. Thank you. We're pulling 326-21. Yes. So resolution 327-21. This one is resolution, hang on, I just have to switch this. This is a resolution for the introduction of ordinance number 45-2021, an ordinance to amend chapter 166 of the code of the city of Hackensack uniform construction code enforcement, establishing fees to be charged for approval of tents subject to the UCC review. Need a motion, please? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Councilmember Carroll? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Be resolved that the above ordinance being Ordinance 45 2021 as introduced is now passed on first reading, and that said ordinance shall be considered for final passage at a meeting to be held on September 14th, 2021, at 7 o'clock p.m. or as soon thereafter as the matter can be reached at the regular meeting place of the City Council. And at such time and place, all persons interested be given an opportunity to be heard concerning said ordinance, and that the city clerk be and she is hereby authorized and directed to publish said ordinance according to law, with a notice of its introduction and passage on first reading, and of the time and place 
one and where said ordinance will be further considered for final passage. Thank you. Resolution 328-21. This is a resolution requesting approval of items of revenue and appropriation as per NJSA 40A colon 4-87, the 2021 Summer Food Program Grant. Need a motion, please? Walker. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Conestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 329-21. This is a resolution adopting City of Hackensack debt management policy for fiscal 2021. Need a motion, please? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Conestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 330-21. This is a resolution authorizing tax refund for duplicate payments, state board judgments, aid in error, and tax exemptions. Need a motion, please? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 331-21. This is a resolution authorizing award of contract for grants management consultant to Millennium Strategies, LLC. Need a motion, please? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 332-21. This is a resolution authorizing award of contract for redevelopment financial consultant services to NW Financial Group, LLC. Need a motion, please. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Castrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 333-21. A resolution authorizing award of contract for engineering services, adaptive tra traffic signal, System, River and Camden, and River and Passaic Streets to Neglia Engineering Associates. Need a motion, please. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 334-21. This is a resolution authorizing the rejection of all bids for Lodi Street Road Improvements Project. Need a motion. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 335-21. This is a resolution authorizing awarding of bid contracts for Stuyve Park Improvements Project to North Creek Construction. Need a motion, please. Walker. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 336-21. A resolution authorizing for cancellation of dormant escrow bank balances in the developer's escrow trust fund. Need a motion, please. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 337-21. A resolution of the City Council of the City of Hackensack authorizing the execution of an agreement with the Hackensack Housing Authority. Need a motion, please. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy mm -hmm. Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Resolution 338-21. A resolution authorizing tax appeal attorney to settle the cases on the attached list dated August 12, 2021. That was scheduled for trial or settlement. Need a motion, please? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Uh, that was 338? Yes, we're up to 338. Resolution 339 21, the payment of bills. Resolution authorizing payment of bills. Need a motion to pay the bills? Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBross. Aye. Okay, before we move forward with the consent agenda, does anybody have any conflicts? No. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, I do. Okay, we have one. And at the same time, Resolution 340-21, it's just which is the same one you had the conflict with, correct? Correct. I'd like to pull that and read that separate so we can meet these young 
Ladies and gentlemen, I don't see any ladies, but. 340-21? Yes, the first one. Okay. And then we get those guys out of here. Anything else or just that one? Anybody else have any other conflicts? Or anything you wanted pulled to read? Mm, no. no. Nope. Okay. The following items are considered to be routine in nature and will be enacted in one motion. Any items require expenditure or are supported by certification of availability of funds. Any item requiring discussion will be removed from the consent agenda and the consent agenda items will be reflected in full in the minutes, including any exceptions and or additions. The consent agenda consists of resolutions 341-21 through 347-21. Resolution 341-21 is a resolution authorizing renewal of inactive liquor license for KCU LLC for the 2021 and 2022 license term. Resolution 342-21 is a resolution authorizing endorsement of proposed Bergen County Communi Community Development Grants. Resolution 343-21 is a resolution authorizing Richard C. Tekvorian as temporary judge for the Hackensack Municipal Court. Resolution 344-21 is a resolution authorizing 100% veterans exemption for 131 Clinton Place, Unit 415. Resolution 345-21 is a resolution authorizing raffle license 20, 2216 for St. Joseph's RC Church for September 19, 2021. Resolution 346-21 is a resolution authorizing the qualifying of professional service providers and authorizing the mayor to execute contracts with such qualified professionals. And resolution 347-21 is a resolution authorizing the appointment of Vincent Caruso as the Hackensack City Manager. Okay, I need a motion to uh, adopt the consent agenda as it was read. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Panastrino. Aye. Councilmember Battaglia. Aye. Councilmember Carroll. Aye. Mayor LaBrosse. Aye. Okay, resolution 340-21. Resolution 340-21 is a resolution authorizing Class 1 Special Law Enforcement Officers to attend Bergen County Institute of Law and Public Safety for training, otherwise known as HCOPS. Okay, I'm going to read the names. If you are here, please stand so we can see you, and uh, welcome to Hackensack, guys, and I uh, look forward to uh, seeing you working for our great city. William Carbajal? Is there William here? No. Chris Amato? No. Samdo Nadim, no, oh boy, Kevin Ortiz, okay, Jessica Barsalo, you sure you got the right names here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dana Bozamati, Jim Flores, Kareem Mansour, that's the list they gave me. Maybe they should have tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but are some of you guys the new specials that are on, that are here? No? I thought, I thought when uh, I saw Mr. DeWitt with all you guys, I thought you were the new guys. My bad. Okay. All right, so we need a motion? Need a motion to adopt. Offer. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg? Aye. Deputy Mayor Canestrino? Aye. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Councilmember Carroll? Stange. And Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. Okay, very good. All right, with that, we need a motion to open to the public. Offer. Roll call. Councilmember Von Rudenberg? Aye. Deputy Mayor Constrino? Aye. Councilmember Battaglia? Aye. Councilmember Carroll? Aye. Mayor LaBrosse? Aye. All right. Anybody from the public who'd like to speak, please come forward. Give your name to the clerk. You will have, you have your timer um, ready to go. Frank? Yeah, I have it. He's got it. Frank's I can't do it? it from this side. <laughs> okay. Do you have three minutes? At three minutes, the uh, does it beep? There's no one? Yes. Yes? Okay. Anybody from the public like to speak? Mr. Smith, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. I'd like to start off this evening by thanking the council for doing such a great job on American Legion Drive. It's a pleasure to see it and to drive on it now. And hopefully we'll see additional improvements made in other streets here in Hackensack. Um, currently we have a mobile message sign on Prospect Avenue, just south of Passaic Street, that indicates that the speed limit on Prospect is 25. 
Am I correct in assuming that that will now be the official speed limit for Prospect Avenue? That's a good question, because I believe the speed limit on Prospect was 35, wasn't it? Or was it 25? I saw, I saw that sign for the first I'm not, time today. I'm not familiar with it. I'm sorry. Also, DeWitt, would you know? Prospect? Mr. Mayor, I believe it is 35. It's not 25. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. He said he believes it's 35. He believes the speed limit is 35, not 25. So I know, you're saying that I know is one or the others. One is summit is 25, and, and Prospect is 35, or vice versa, but I'm not sure. But, well, but, but, Mayor, I'll have the traffic provision check it out tomorrow. Check, check that out because it, it might be wrong, but go ahead, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, we do have that uh, mobile message sign there now. Are you aware what the speed limit is on that street? Well, I always assumed it was 35, but then in the last few days I've seen this message board and it says 25 and it tells what speed you're traveling I, at. I saw that today coming home from work and the other thing I noticed, could you stop this time, Frank? Yeah. The other thing I noticed, I think that sign should be back towards Essex Street more. Because I don't know whether that sign is telling people going, once you cross Passaic Street, it's a 25 zone, going from 35 to 25, or it should be telling people earlier. You know, we've had two speed limits on Prospect Avenue. North of Passaic, it was 25, mm -hmm. and south, it was 35, which I right. never understood. Yeah, yeah because north of Passaic is a one-family zone, yep. and south is a multiple, yeah. you know, high-rise building I, zone. It didn't make any sense. I, I agree, and I'm going to ask officer, uh, officer in charge, Captain DeWitt, to uh, let's bring that up with traffic about working on that speed limit over there, because that's something we, we might want to consider is lowering it to 25. Yeah. At a previous meeting, I asked if the uh, project for the crosswalks for Prospect Avenue at Berry, Golf Place, American Legion Drive, and uh, Atlantic were on uh, schedule, and I was told one meeting ago or two meetings ago that it was planned to be completed in the fall, September or October. Are we on track to have that done? I'd leave that to the city manager. At that time frame? I, I cannot confirm that. I don't know if our project management team has information on that. The crosswalks on, on Prospect at Berry, Gulf, and uh, American, Legion American Legion and Drive. Atlantic. And Atlantic. I don't believe there were any scheduled for Atlantic, but I'll double, I would have to check on that. That was one of the four intersections in question. Yeah. Um, the next item has to do with an item that was brought up several meetings back uh, during Mr. Ehrenberg's tenure. Uh, and I asked the question concerning the intersections of Central and Second, where the Mount Olive Church is located, and Summit and Golf Place, where Temple of Bethel is located. And there was a disparity between the number of traffic safety devices at those two locations. Uh, City Manager Freeman said he would check on that. Do you have any other information as to why that exists? I don't. I have it in my notes. There's six safety devices, and Summit and Golf only has three. Uh, we pass this along to uh, our engineers, traffic engineers, to do a study and get back to us. I have not heard back yet. Well, if I'm not mistaken, both of those streets are county streets. So that I'm assuming that the county would be responsible for whatever exists at these two locations. I, I don't know what their current status is of it, but I will give you my word that I will look into it and get back to you. Okay, one other question. I don't know if you'll want to answer it or not, uh, because this involves the unfortunate fatal accident on Polifly. The question is, does the city of Hackensack have any responsibilities for county roads that are located within the confines of the city, and if so, what are those responsibilities? I'd have to, again. My understanding, as far as traffic signaling goes, is that I'll take, for an example, uh, the intersection of Summit and Passaic. Like, Summit and Passaic is a county intersection. However, the traffic signaling is owned by the city. So if, if we wanted to replace that, we would have to uh, incur the cost of replacing those signals on the county roads. Okay. Thank you for your time, Mayor. Thank you. Councilman. The, uh, I'm curious as to uh, the safety devices, the signage. 
pedestrian signage on Central and Second. Did the county put them there, or did we? Yeah, I don't know. We need to find out. Yep. But if it was that, that would be a telltale sign if the county put them there that they wouldn't respond. Okay, next person from the public, please. Ma'am? Ms. Cooper, how are you? Fine, how are you? I am well, thank you. Good, thank you. Uh, my name is Margo Cooper, and uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Why is the town repairing First Street, to be specific, and replacing crack manhole covers? Now, the infrastructure in the third war, which involves Central Avenue to Saint Street, Third Street, Railroad Avenue, and down, I do believe. We understand why this is done, plus this very, uh, excuse me, historically, municipalities do not want to fix what is needed. Because, for instance, the third ward is predominantly involving African Americans and brown people. Now, the sewers have been backing up in the third ward for years. The last problem was horrendous. Three feet of sewage. I believe you were there in the boat at the time. People have lost many, many personal treasures because of the sewage and the problem has not been resolved. So I and others do not understand why the town did not resolve the problem, but yet and still we can pave the roads. Roads are not primary. Sewage is something that is extremely dangerous <coughs> and can cause disease, as we all know. So therefore, we feel that the situation of the sewage system in the third ward, especially, should be looked upon immediately with some kind of results and let the citizens know. They have been frustrated for years. I'm not talking five years, ten years. Years of frustration. We pay taxes, we know this town, we're proud of it. But you've got to look after all of your people, regardless to what war they live in, whether it's the first, second, or third. We pay taxes, and we're proud of our town. But we need something back from the town. Thank you. Thank you. I want to, uh, before you, I know you want to say something, but I also want to say something. This council has. Speak you. <laughs> <laughs> this that thing is very loud. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> you, you, you beat the clock. <laughs> but this, this council has moved forward with the, the project to, to we, we are undertaking moving forward with fixing the problem, the exact problem you're talking about in the third ward. The problem is, it, this isn't going to be a quick fix. This is a big project. Uh, I, what is the total number on this? Do we know? $26 million. $26 million. Okay, $26 million. Is that for the first ward? That's for the first, uh, third ward. That's, this is Clay Street, High Street, James Street, Barry. We passed this a while ago. Actually, suburban. It's gonna it's gonna affect a lot of areas, but suburban engineering is actually here tonight. We'll let we'll let Darren from suburban speak, but this is gonna take a few years because the pipes running from down the hill from up by Third Street behind the high rises. We've got to get all that stuff down. All new piping has to go to the river, but the problem is we have to start from the river and work our way up with the bigger pipes. All right, you can't. You can't put big pipes at the top and run it into a small little pipe. No. You've got to start at the bottom and work its way up. It's going to be a few years of work, but we're undertaking it, $27 million plus. 
by the time it's done, it's probably going to be closer to $40 million because it's government work. The $27 right. million is for the third ward? I would say, Darren, yes. is that about right? Uh, yes. Would you like to come up and, and talk about the projects? This, this is Darren from uh, Suburban Engineering. They're the, oh, okay. our city engineers that are working on this project, I've heard it before. putting it together. Yes. And, uh, Go ahead, Darren. But just, just so it's on the record and yes. they, folks can watch it on YouTube so they can be familiar with what's going to happen. Good evening, Mayor. How are you, sir? Uh, in short, um, for probably two and a half years, uh, Suburban has been engaged in evaluating the situation of flooding in the city. We know the Green Street area, which is all part of the Court Street drainage area, which is your southern portion of your town has major problems. But believe it or not, to sever that issue, we're actually heading into the right into the heart of the third ward. Exactly the location of, of what you have described is where we are <laughs> running this box culvert, which started in Camden Street. It's in Fashini Park that that exists now. We're making that piece larger. And Mayor, exactly how you explained it, you got to start from the river and work your way uphill. Otherwise, it won't function, and you will flood people. If we did it the other way, it's you're going to bring a lot of water down to a right. structure that can't handle it, and you're going to cause a lot of property damage. So um, the, the significant money is because this infrastructure is so large. And believe it or not, the section that is under contract right now for which it's, the box is already across to the west side of Main Street, and we are going to meander up through to finally get it into Clay Street, and then the next section goes under the rail. So we got a jack underneath the rail while the rail is active. Once again, significant money. And the, the, why it took so long for us to study this is because we're talking extremely large amount of infrastructure <laughs> and a very complex location of where the flooding is and you're bound by rails going in two different directions right through the heart of Mackensack, which causes obviously significant problems that we need to engineer through. So um, all this is underway, and the section that we're under contract right now building, we're actually connecting very little into it to get to the third one. So the box culvert is going in, very large infrastructure, and its capacity will be utilized once we get to the west side of the rail, and then spider out across that whole area in that third ward. Okay. That's Dan. in a nutshell. I'm shocked I did that under three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're being a professional, you actually get more, more time. But I got a quick question for you. Is there anything, because in the meanwhile, it's going to rain again. It's inevitable. And um, the flooding was the last two storms we had. So it, Specifically, the first one was a significant amount of rain in a short amount of time. Things are going to, we flooded all over the city. I mean, everybody flooded. I mean, that area has been a problem for years, like Newman Street, Green Street. But is there anything we, any type of temporary things we can do? I know Joey and Gleam is here, our superintendent, DPW, who's going to speak also. But. Right, and, and the city has undertaken the DPW and your project manager group to turn around and video those areas within First Street, the intersection that Barry working their way through there, heading south, to try to see, is there something abnormal in the system? And if there is, obviously, then we would go into a point repair. Mm -hmm. Get that capacity back into the system. Um, it's, hopefully we do find something to help, you know, relieve. Um, but if not, then it's just the lack of capacity in your system but it's definitely worth cameraing going through. Try to find, you know, we did find some situations that weren't functioning correctly um, through not having proper ventilation. So uh, the improvements are being made in the short term, um, but any significant, you get a couple inches of rain in a day, like the city system can't handle it. And then when you're out there, the chief, I think you witnessed it where after the rain stops, you know, the, the area then, Crane's out, so we know it's functioning underground. It just doesn't have the capacity to take those peaks right. of the range. Okay. 
a lot of the infrastructure we're putting in is large. It'll actually detain. It'll be like vessels of, of, of storage within the neighborhoods underground that'll help provide more discharge to get out to the river, keeping it off the surface. Right. Once again, that's costly. So, um, believe it or not, last Tuesday, which was less than a week ago, the DEP did give us the thumbs up for this next project to get another two million in free money. Obviously, very low um, interest uh, rate money, also for the re to finance the remainder of the project. So. We have full cooperation from the DEP for moving forward, getting you folks millions and millions of dollars. You know, but unfortunately, you know, it's it's a lot of taxpayer dollars that has to go along with it. Right. And you know, it's linear. So you have to start from the bottom, you gotta work your way up. You can't do it all at once. You will cause a lot of property damage if you don't do this correctly. And and we're very sensitive and we, we understand, you know, the public needs these improvements. So we are we are pushing. And we're bidding immediately and going out and full cooperation from every department in the city to move these things forward. So okay. uh, we're, we're doing everything as expeditiously as we can. Thank you, Derek. Appreciate it. And uh, just to, Ms. Cooper, just so you're aware, the first street paving project is a county project. Oh. Just so that you're aware, that's Bergen County doing that. Uh, and maybe if you don't mind, sir, would you mind if I just bring up? They're, they're right in the middle of that. Uh, Joe and Gleema, could you come up for a moment? I just would, I would like, I think it would be beneficial if you just give a quick uh, recap of what happens when it rains in the city, when we get a heavy rain. People don't see the behind the scenes things. They have a, the, the DPW and his team, they have an emergency action plan that they put into place. They deploy people, but I'd like Joe just to get into it because just because you don't see them on your street, please understand that it's being looked at and addressed. Um, excuse me? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor, Council, and to people in the audience and at home watching. Um, the DPW has a large function what happens when a storm comes. Um, we're usually well prepared prior to a storm. Um, just so you understand, we have pump stations that pump water. Um, it's not we don't wait for the water to come up and then we call people in and they man these stations. If we know it's going to be a significant rainfall, um, the people who are assigned to these pump stations are working the pump stations prior to the storm to make sure that the water is being pumped properly. Um, a lot of times what isn't seen is um, there's a lot of debris, large sticks come through the, the pump stations, um, bottles and cans, we have asphalt come through. So what happens is, is that there's fingers in there which help to filter out this stuff that's not supposed to go out when the water is pumped. Sometimes it'll jam up the machine. These guys have to unjam it. If they don't jam it, then we'll obviously get tremendously more flooding than we would normally get. So those are manned even before the storm starts, right? Um, if you look in some of our high flood areas, um, we put barricades out prior to the start of the storm. Um, this way, in case the storm does come, um, officers who respond there and get there before maybe the DPW does, they can set those up so people don't drive through the flooded areas. Prior to that is that the DPW, especially the sewer department, um, has target areas they target once a week. That's usually the third ward specifically, that Clay Street, High Street, Ferry, Stanley Place. Um, they do an inspection there on a weekly basis. Um, they check the catch bases to make sure the tops are clear. Um, they do all that kind of stuff to prepare for a storm that might come. So I don't want anybody to think we just kind of wait around, wait for the water to come up. Um, and even when a storm does come and that water does go, um, a lot of times these guys will lift the tops of manhole covers that are in the flooded areas because inside some of these older style manholes, they have what's called a bell inside. And that bell traps bottles and cans and stuff so it does not flow down. Um, if they can manually open the bell, it'll allow the water to drain out faster in that area once the water starts to recede. Um, as an example, on one of the last floods at Barry Street, uh, I believe it was Chief, right? Very yes, right. Very, um, when they lift the manhole, we had 100 to 200 bottles inside the manhole. So part of this is is that we also need the residents to be um, watch what they have around their properties, especially when these floods happen. Um, it'll pick up debris, it'll, it'll take it down into the sewers. Um, so, you know, obviously if you have your cans out, you know it's going to rain heavy, you know, try to maybe pull them back off the curb a little bit so they're not knocking over your recycling cans. Um, pull some of your debris back forward. 
Um, I have personally spent a tremendous amount of time on the phone with residents who call to try to help them with their properties. Um, as we said, there's a long project that's not going to be completed overnight. So if anybody wants to call the DPW, I'll be more than happy to speak with them, um, give them somewhat of an evaluation to try to help them to prevent flooding in their home. Um, maybe they need to change where their leaders come down to their homes. They're too close to the home. Maybe the neighbor's leader is going right to the foundation of their basement. Um, maybe they don't have their sump pump hooked up properly or maybe they need to do a better job on you know, putting a pit in the basement with a pump in it. Um, maybe they need a check valve put in on some of these locations. But like I said, you know, we're here to assist. Um, I know, you know Ryan's here tonight from Project Manager's office. Um, we take you know, phone calls with the residents all the time. So, you know, I know that, you know, sometimes people don't want to call, but if you call, we'll help you through whatever it is, and, you know, we'll try to hopefully get this project on, and just so they understand we're out there and we're working through what we're supposed yep. to do. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Serbo, you're up. All right. Just a few things, okay? My name's Rich Serbo, uh, Spring Valley Avenue. We talked about Spring Valley last week, so I won't even get into that this week. But I saw a posting online somewhere about the uh, the monument or the statue of Columbus being taken down at the park. Is that true? Is that no, no, Unico, Unico, Unico took it down to refurbish it. Okay, so it's going to be returned. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be brought Absolutely. Back. Okay. Well, and it ain't going anywhere. Okay, so I was, I was going to lay it on you for giving the <laughs> order, John. <laughs> uh, that so. ain't happening on my watch. <laughs> okay. All right, so I have, I have good news now. I have, I have a, a segment to uh, praise the, the police. And uh, uh, recently there was a uh, incident downtown on Washington Avenue. Ruth Metzler, who was... Uh, has been here and with us uh, many times. Her sister had a little event. She had, suffers from dementia, and the police uh, came down in a rescue uh, way, in a rescuing way, and uh, they were very kind, very gentle to her. They took her to spend the night uh, overnight at, at uh, Holy Name Hospital, and everything was wonderful. So I just wanted to, I don't know, the police uh, officer's name. There's some uh, back there. You can. <laughs> but I just would like to thank him. And uh, Ruth uh, thanks you. Her sister was was mm -hmm. well taken care of by this officer. Good. And uh, so we're happy about that. So, okay, also a couple other things. This, the, the remark you made at the end of uh, our last meeting, John, when you uh, sort of blurted out that Oh, we had a pandemic, as if, oh, that's the reason for all this uh, shake-up and problem, uh, so, uh, problems that we're having. But the, the pandemic itself, okay, is, uh, is defined a little differently. You can't just throw that word around. Pandemic uh, has a, uh, a definition that it, it needs to have a, uh, a large... Uh, mortality uh, rate, uh, a high mortality rate. And this uh, virus never did, and it, I don't think it ever will, because it's kind of, there's no rhyme or reason to what's going on, and there hasn't been in the last two years. So when you say that we're having a pandemic, kind of use it uh, with the right definition. So there is not a high mortality rate, so don't use it, okay? Please, thank you. Okay, thanks. All right, other other comments. Uh, Mr. I forgot uh, his name already. I'm sorry. I, I'm. I'm very deep. Oh, oh come on! That can't be my time, John. It's three minutes. Okay, oh, that's ridiculous. We didn't speak. No, that is ridiculous. Yeah. ridiculous. No. yeah. Let's vote on time uh, extension. Maybe next time around. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else from the public like to speak? How are you, sir? Good. You can lower your mask at the podium if you want to. If you, My name is Khalid Darwin, and I live in Hackensack for the past probably 35 years or so. And, uh, 
just want to bring to your attention uh, the area that I live in, uh, Hudson and Kennedy. Uh, talking about the flood zone, I, I'm not exactly sure if, if we fall into the flood zone area, but we, we are not mm -hmm. under that. But normally on that corner, we have a lot of water after the rain, or if we have any storm where I think it actually accumulates so much. And uh, I know the public work comes in and, and do the great work by flushing water out and keeping the traffic away from the area. But for some reason, it, it's been there for a number of years, and I don't know, you know, they, they come around very often to, uh, to go through the manhole or uh, try to flush things out. And I know they work on Washington Avenue, uh, but it seems like every, every once in a while we have so much, and the traffic has to be somehow routed from Route 80 coming in from mm -hmm. the east, and it's, it makes a traffic jam, and uh, me and my my kids have seen some of them here. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we tried to uh, to help guide the driver away from the area by rerouting the traffic from Route 80 going the other direction toward right. the depot. Then and that's that, due to the flooding you're diverting? Yes. That, that area is, is very, very condensed with, uh, I guess, the traffic and the, that intersection is always uh, is a problem. That's right. one thing I wanted to say. The, uh, the other thing is uh, between Kennedy and Hudson, actually, Hudson and Kennedy, it seems like that street is so wide and it's so smooth from the traffic light from Hudson going to Kennedy before you get to Route 80, it seems like most of the driver, they see it like a raceway. And they actually go real fast. I live exactly on a corner, Washington Avenue on a corner, 317 Washington Avenue, Hackensack. And if, you, you could visualize the noise or the rumbling mm -hmm. and the tra you know, trailers pass by or, or the noise most of the time. Right. I, I, you know, I think it would be a good idea if there is a speed bump, one or two speed bump going toward west. That would be great. Going towards Route 80 from, from Hudson. Right. Going east is no problem because it's actually like a curve. By the time you make the curve, yes, I'm a, the I know. Line. I know exactly what you're talking about. But I think the speed the speed pump would be great. I mean, it doesn't have to be permanent; it could be removable. I mean, we could do that. We could work with, with the city on that, but it make a problem for us. I mean, we lived here for a number of years. We we kind of try to adapt to it, but it's a major issue. You know, my time is almost up. Yeah, I appreciate your. Uh, Thank you. The, the flooding, I mean, we're well aware of that area, too, for flooding. That's always been, you know, that's where Water Street is up there. It's named Water Street for a reason. Um, we've had significant flooding issues down there, though it's gotten a little better. We put a new pump station that's helping down there. That, that area gets affected by the tide, too. And, and when, it, when, when you're that close to the river and you have a high tide, because it's a tidal river, and a full moon, that's, you know, that's why sometimes you'll, you'll get a good rain and it won't flood. And then you'll get a small rain, and all of a sudden you get all this water, and you're like, "What's going on?" True. Well, that's because you're got a high tide, right, and a full moon, and <laughs> it changes it changes the whole game. It's like Mother Nature has its own plays its own game. So, you know, I've been down there when it's barely raining, and it's you get some some decent flooding down there. You're like, yes, I, I did hear. I'm sorry to take more time. I did hear like, uh, what did you hear? I don't know if uh, my kids remember. Actually, I was out. Uh, from the state here, somebody actually passed away on that traffic light because of the flood. I think they tried to get him out from the car. Yeah, and really. He, there, he closed the window and he actually yeah. passed away on that corner. Oh. And all the gentleman. That's not good. My uh, other thing, by the way, the, the, uh, the gentleman who was talking about the lady with dementia, she actually came into my house, the second floor, knock on it, oh. and we oh, called really? the police. Oh, wow. oh thank like you for doing that. Wow. Yeah, that's, I, uh, you were a big, uh, you're, you're a hero. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. And sir, any complaints for speeding and such like you brought up, I forward that to the police department and they'll, they'll look into it and then they'll also, if they have the availability, they'll put the speed trail in there also. So we'll put it on the list. Know. Deb, did you get the gentleman's name? I have oh, the address. Gosh. You have it? Okay. Yes. 317 Washington. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Anyone I else from the public like to speak? I don't have the spelling of his name if you need that. Though. Yeah, I couldn't hear it. <laughs> Okay, no one else from the public. Motion to close to the public. Offer. Second. Roll call.
Council Member Von Rudenberg. Aye. Deputy Mayor Gondestrino. Oh, that, the email. Yeah, we'll close the public and then just read it. Just okay. Deputy Mayor Conestrino? Aye. Council Member Taglia? Aye. Council Member Carroll? Aye. Mayor Bros. Aye. And then I would just know that okay. one comment. I think there was one, we're still accepting uh, emailed comments, so I think we had one that uh, will need to be read to the record. Okay. And uh, Bridget Rucker is not in attendance, is that correct? No, that's correct. Okay. This is a, a letter that was sent in. Um, to uh, the City Council, uh, it's from Bridget Rucker. She writes, and I'll uh, quote her, I'm responding to the question of stakeholder slash resident Victor Geddes that was asked at the last council meeting, parentheses, July 19, 2021, and responses that Stephanie Von Rudenberg has given. I don't see color, that was quote. Some people comment they're colorblind or all people are equal. It sounds well-meaning at the first sight, but it's not an attempt to listen or inquire about the issue. It reiterates an end goal we haven't achieved yet in society. Similarly, if some people decide an issue is not racist, racist it is not, dash. They make the decision, parentheses, quote, I don't see a slave, I see a beautiful woman, end quote. While this Comment might be well-meaning, reality is different. People of color face hardship looking for jobs and accommodation, comma, when shopping or eating out. They don't have the same opportunities. Thinking, quote, all people are equal, end quote, ignores that reality. It comes from a privileged point of view and is not helpful. We need to take their response seriously and accept what they decide. No one question your job or your son's friend, just your point of view on critical race theory and you went into defense mode, which made it truly obvious, and the John came to your defense, which made it worse. I just want the city council to think before their responses and not respond based on the emotions of the questions. Bridget Rucker. Okay, Steph, do you have any comments? Yes. Um, thank you everyone for being here. Um, the only comment I'm gonna, going to make is, you know, we can all, you know, I, disagree. I don't agree with Ms. Ruckner, but she's entitled to her opinion. Um, just a few notes. Uh, football and soccer registration is open through the rec department. Um, and baseball and softball Hackensack is hosting a clothing and shoe drive uh, this Saturday from 9 to 1 at Fashini Park. You can donate all of your uh, clothing and household goods um, for a good cause to help support the program. Um, school is opening September 7th for students. Just be mindful, there will be a lot of kids walking to school, and parents uh, driving, so uh, just be aware. And I ask that um, many of the parents uh, just continue to obey the parking regulations and, and regulations of the road, um, double parking by the schools, and just be mindful of crosswalks with the students. Um, I just want to congratulate our, uh, our special officers that, were, um, that are going to the academy. Um, and thank you to Chief Freeman again. I know we said it before, and I, I neglected to say Jackie and, and Jan and the whole office, but they are just wonderful. Um, after uh, our city manager passed, everyone just um, stepped up to the plate. Every department, our, our, our clerks, our clerk department, um, DPW, everybody just came together and, and worked in, in lockstep um, to keep the city moving, and, and we all appreciate that very much. Um, thank you to Jim Mangan and his whole department for um, always, you know, explaining to us the, the finances and making everyone understand and, and saying in the layman's terms and just working so hard to make sure our cities continues to work, um, move forward in the right direction. Um, on tonight's agenda, we uh, awarded a contract to side park improvements, a much needed and, and long overdue um, improvement for the park and we look forward to that. That's one of our, our bigger uh, recreation campsites and we're hoping to you know, have a really nice place for our, our, our campers as well as our residents to use the park. Um, thank you to Joe and our, our DPW for all the work. Sometimes you're right, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes when we're just kind of you know seeing the flooding and the different things, but I know you guys work really, really hard to try to keep everybody safe and, and get us through these storms. It's been a, a pretty, a difficult year with all the rain that we've got and we appreciate it. Um, one more. And thank you to Mr. Serbo and, and Mr. Darish for you know um, helping um, 
somebody that needed help and also for recognizing our police department. Again, it's nice to hear um, accolades for, for our employees and especially thank you to our police department for you know always doing the right thing and, and working so hard for us. And that's all I have. Thank you and have a good night. <clears throat> Just say welcome again, Vince Caruso. Uh, you know, we look forward to you joining our organization. And of course, much thanks again to the Chief, to Jackie, to all the department heads who got us through these last few very trying months and, and in a successful and smooth way, which speaks a lot to all the employees. Mr. Caruso, you're, you're inheriting a, a really great bunch of people. So um, again, thanks to all involved. Uh, uh, appreciate Darren speaking and Joe and Lima speaking. We understand, um, Ms. Cooper, the, the, the total frustration and the fact that these are serious quality of life issues for people. And we, we acknowledge that and, and no one wants to be living under those conditions, which is why we ventured into this you know, long-term improvement of doing sewer separation within the city. Uh, I think they did a great job of explaining not only what the long-term plan is, but you know what we're trying to do and, you know, in the meantime as well. Uh, I'm sorry I got into a choking episode, so I don't know, Darren, if you got to talk, but, you know, there's also another component there where we, we're working with uh, Hackensack University Medical Center, and we're obtaining um, a bunch of other box culverts that we're going to be putting in very soon, which, and, you know, again, what he explained the box culvert is going to do is it's going to retain water, so it's not all just rushing through the system and flooding. And working in conjunction with the hospital, we are going to be getting those strategically placed in areas of the third ward. Is it going to be a full solution? No, that full solution is coming when we work our way up from the river. But I believe, Darren, correct me if I'm wrong, that this is going to help. You know, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to help because it will retain some of those fluids, some of those storm waters before, again, it jams up the system and, and, and it's going to definitely help with capacity. So in addition to all that great work, and, and we see these DPW guys out there and Joe, you know, please, you know, extend our, our comments to them. I mean, they're out there in this horrible weather, pouring rain, you know, water everywhere, and, and they're doing everything they can to help us. And, you know, everyone in town, and especially everyone on this council, you know, is very, very uh, thankful for the work and the hard work that they all do. Uh, additionally, the, uh, during the city manager report, he mentioned that we are going to initiate, because there is so much focus right now and so many questions, that for the, for the current time, we're going to, at each of our committee of the whole meetings, we're going to make it a standing agenda item to talk about stormwater updates. You hear that, Ryan? So we're going to be asking <laughs> Ryan, Susan, and maybe sometimes we'll have another special guest like Darren to just let, keep the public, you know, it's twice a month, keep, keep them informed where we are, what's happening, and also create a forum so the public, bring, come in, bring your neighbors. You know, if you have questions, you have problems, come in. Let's talk about it. You know your problems better than we do. You know your neighborhoods better than we do. Many times you have some good solutions because you're living there. So we, we want to hear that and so do our engineers and our project managers and our DPW guys because sometimes we put all our heads together and guess what? We come up with the best solution. So we, we look forward to continuing those conversations. Uh, during the uh, Committee of the Whole, our, our CFO Jim Mangan talked about various things with debt management but one of the most important things he said Tonight was we, our credit rating was increased to a double A plus, and some of the comments in the report were just flowing as far as where the city has come, you know, over the last few years in the financial, in the financial status. And again, thanks not only to Jim and to our auditor, but to the whole finance department, who really worked very, very hard to have this major accomplishment. So again, kudos to all that good work. I always try to just do a quick rundown on some of the most important highlights of the meetings from my perspective and the things that I work on. Uh, again, you saw there were some comments here about the redevelopment project. That redevelopment project is a project that's going to go, when completed, it will house 210 units. Basically, it's going to be on the corner of Green and Essex Street. If you can figure where that is, that was where our old recycling center was, and a couple there was a couple of old houses there. Actually, that will be running right along the railroad tracks. So yeah, just hop out of bed and you can jump on a train and get to work. So I think it's going to be a great project. And again, we went through with approvals on that tonight. As always, we continue to uh, follow our CFO Jim's guidelines and maintaining our debt status, but continuing to do infrastructure improvements and well-needed improvements throughout the city. So just a few highlights of things that are on there tonight. We continue with our fire department building renovations. This goes on every year. They, they've aged and requires some significant work, so each year we do something. And in addition to that, we've had a, 
a remediation issue chief, yes, under the fire department, the main fire department here for years. That has kind of just been maintained to keep safety. But now we're, we're taking the bull by the horns and we're going to really fix it. So this is a significant amount of money and hopefully we're done. Hopefully we get it taken care of. Correct. And, and, that, and so there was a big piece of the bond ordinances that go towards that. Uh, we were due for a new fire truck. We're buying that. We were due, Joe, for two new garbage trucks. So we're doing that. Um, we threw another million dollars into paving. So we're working our way through all the streets. Yes, Leo? Yeah. So Leo is, is our paving expert. So that, that was in there. Uh, and also our building department. Now our building department is moving closer to, her, to City Hall, uh, where the old John Earl building was. So we're also having to renovate that to accommodate the building department. It will provide additional parking. And of course, close proximity to City Hall will make Everything comes together a lot better during these times. We're doing some traffic signal updates. And did I miss anything? I think that's it. So, sounds like a lot. It is a lot. But we need to do, again, every year we need to do things in the city to keep it running the way it is and to not impact our tax base. And that's the plan. That's Jim's plan as our CFO. Our interim city manager's plan, our new city manager's plan is to keep this city in the condition that it is and continue to improve it. So thanks for coming, everyone. We'll see you again next time, even if it's only on Zoom, until the, the health of this whole country gets a little bit better. Thank you again, Chief, for all your help. And welcome, Mr. Caruso. I want to thank all the departments that do all this bad weather. They really stepped to the plate. And there's no question, Mr. Servo, that the speeding and the noise with all these cars on time, 10 or 9 o'clock, we are like a racetracks. And the other thing that happened is that all these young fellows now, they got tinted windows and the passenger side and the driver's side, now including the windshield. So even the police officer, they don't know who is inside this car. That's something that the police has to take care of. They are doing a good job. Thank you for everything, Mr. DeWitt. But we got to do a little bit better. And no question that the storm waters and the sewer separation is going forward. Mr. Darren from Suburban is doing a good job. Thank you, Darren, for everything that you are doing. And the city was like, I don't want to say neglect, but nobody was taking care of the problem like we are doing together with the rest of the head department. And it's going to take a couple of years, but uh, we are going in the right direction and all the problems are going to be solved. People that know me, they know that I am all over the place. They, I got a meeting with the people from the New Jersey Transit. They're going to take care of the railroad crossings and Passage Street and Nexus Street. And trust me, the city is going to improve in the next two, three years. I guess it's going to be a beautiful city. Thank you for coming. Good night. Thank you. Jerry? Yes, uh, one good thing about being last, everything has been simmering. <laughs> so I noticed it. You notice that? I, I, I kind of like that. Um, a, a couple things. So again, I want to thank the chief again for stepping up and filling in some big shoes. And um, to our new city manager, can't wait to start you know, working with you and hope everything goes well for you. I'd also like to thank the uh, police department for the class ones that are now going back to the academy. You know, I think it's been, what, a couple of years since we had a class there, and it's good to have, you know, uh, those officers now being allowed to go back to the academy. And with that, I conclude my statement. Thank you. I know how you feel about going last. <laughs> I'm looking at Kathy. I, I, as she's talking, I'm crossing the stuff off my list. I'm like, I don't have to do that one. I don't have to do that one. But uh, that's all good. Um, Mr. Vincent Caruso, again, thank you. And uh, we look forward to working with you. I'm sure we'll have a great relationship. I'm, you're going to fall in love with Hackensack because everybody who works here does. And uh, you'll be close to, close to home. And uh, we look forward to a great relationship. Jim, thanks again. You and your staff, the finance department, or the finance uh, committee, another great job getting that double A plus rating is, is awesome and uh, we'll strive to get that triple-a 
Um, Daryl, thanks for coming tonight and uh, addressing the public. Appreciate it. Joey, you as well. Joey and Gleema from the DPW, thank you for coming tonight. Ryan. Um, one of the things that's going to be on my list for the next few years, and I know Mr. Smith, you're going to like this, is pedestrian safety in the city. I read the article the other day how North Jersey is becoming a, uh, a nightmare for pedestrians. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a combination of all types of different things. It's a combination of not enough crosswalks. It's a combination of educating people not to cross in the middle of the street and just walk out into the car, in front of cars. It's just... Uh, but some of the things I see going on lately, I can see why people are getting hit by cars when I, when I drive around the city. So we need to uh, beef it up, pay a little more attention. I think we should try to uh, attain some more grant money and um, try to uh, really enhance our pedestrian safety throughout the city. So that's going to be on one of my jobs. Um, Tom, thanks again for filling in as interim city manager. Did a great job. You and Jackie did a wonderful job. I really appreciate it. Helped us out in a pinch. And, uh, you know, Ted's up there smiling, saying, I'm sure he's giving you the thumbs up. And saying a couple other things, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, events. We've been having some great events in the city. I don't know if you people have been out there watching or in the audience. But uh, we have some great shows, usually Tuesday night at, on the Green right by the county courthouse. We have wonderful concerts tomorrow night. It was mentioned before, Filet of Soul, which is originally a Hackensack band from like 30 years ago, and they're still playing. Um, they're playing tomorrow night at 7.30. Friday nights, we have shows at the Atlantic Street Park. They're great little shows. And uh, there's, what else do we have? We have uh, Shakespeare in the Park. We've been yoga. having drive-in movies. We've been having uh, yoga. yoga, Zumba out there on the green so check uh, go to hackpack.org on our website or on uh, you can see all the events on our website at uh, hackensack.org or you can go to the hackpack website and they're all listed on there so check that out and mr servo you know we're gonna have different opinions on the pandemic i work in healthcare. you know i see things a little differently than you and uh hits me a little differently than you you're you're not seeing what i'm seeing um I nor in healthcare too yeah but not during this so I have. my point, my point being is, you know, it, it's it's a serious event, and it's it's not going away anytime soon. And you know, the professionals are saying they haven't seen a virus like this mutate as quick as this one has. So it's it's a scary thing. So no disrespect to you, you can have your opinions on whether it's serious or not. But I'm taking this one serious. And uh, with that, uh, motion to close to the public. All fair. Second. Roll call. Or all in favor? Yeah. Aye. Aye. The only time we get to do it is a team. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Appreciate it. Have a good night, everyone.